Hey there, how's it going? Hey, it's time for some more gear unboxing and might as well have a beer with it as well, right? Beers and gear, sounds good. Today, enjoying a, uh, an IPA, double IPA called Impending Doom. You know, it's, it's mid-December. I feel like Impending Doom sort of fits what's gonna happen to the waterways here real soon. Hopefully I get through January without a bunch of ice, but uh, February off in years, things are locked up uh, in, in, in my area. So uh, with that, today I've got a, a, a small order, should be a quick video, but I wanted to highlight uh, a company called Bait Finesse Empire. I've ordered from them a few times now, this stuff always comes fast, but what I love is when you go to Bait Finesse Empire, like the name would you know, sort of suggest, pretty much everything they sell is bait finesse. So it's not like most of the sites that I order from where you got to sort through and like, oh, hey, that looks good. And like the smallest thing they have it in is maybe a half ounce or five eighths. Bait finesse empire, pretty much everything is, is uh, sort of in that bait finesse realm. Just a handful of items in here. Uh, same thing, really trout focused and, and trying to buy some things that were, you know, basically either adding to something that I already have that's working well or just similar items. So, ooh, there's more in here than I remember. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is the uh, the Mukai uh, Max Spinner. This was not inexpensive, um, but spinners work so well for me. I've heard good things about Mukai in general. Yeah, so this was like $8.50, but I wanted to give it a try and I, I love the color. So these are they call Chebarashka. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that the right way. Um, but basically these are, oh, and these are made by Soranoia. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. I might be able to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like Soranoia products, but odds are it's also available on AliExpress. Difference is I can get these this week. If I order from AliExpress, I'll get them next month if I'm lucky. Uh, so what these are, these are basically a way to fish flies on my bait finesse gear. This one should be around a, a three gram. Yeah, so this one's three grams and this one should be around one and a half. And so what you do is you basically just hook these on the line and then, and then you attach your fly right to it. And so it's, it's basically like a, a big head on your fly for the winter and some of the spring locations. I got two spots in mind specifically. I know a, a fly is, is most of the time probably a better choice, uh, but it's just, it's, it's never been real easy for me to, to fish them effectively. So to add a few grams of weight and be able to get the, the fly casting well, but also down there really quickly, I think would be good. So uh, these were fairly inexpensive, so it's not like ordering from AliExpress, I would actually save that much. Euro Tackle. These are the Eurotackle um, Anisoptera. Uh, it's basically like a, a little Helgramite type deal. It's another small one. These are one and a half inch. I've liked a lot of the Eurotackle stuff. Speaking of Helgramites, um, got Nico Helgramites. Uh, this is in uh, Green Pumpkin. Oh, those are the only ones I picked up. Um, I must have picked them up because I was out of Green Pumpkin uh, and didn't want to place a full order with, with Nico. Now these, I'm actually really happy that I, I ordered these because it, honestly it's been a few weeks since I placed this order and I, I'm just now getting ready to, getting around to unboxing it. These are the, basically like a bellows gill, but this is the Soranoia version. So again, I completely forgot. Uh, I, I do want to get some, there's another brand called Gee Crack, uh, the bellows gill. But uh, this one, I'm going to open this up. This is a really cool looking bait and I think it's something different than than what a lot of the bass around here have seen. And uh, so you can see it's sort of like a, in a way it looks like a big flat leech. It feels really funky. And this one's sort of like a black and a, with black fleck. They call it trilobite. These feel um, amazing. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to using these as well. I mean, I'm looking forward to using all of them, but that's one that I've been thinking about for a while. I think a couple times I just forgot to order it. So when I saw it, on there and I was placing my order. Every time I order, and you're probably the same way, right? Every time I order, I end up spending more than what I intended, but I get some cool stuff. There may come a time when I'm just fishing my favorite stuff. And I think I'd be okay with that, but I enjoy, enjoy this so much. Euro Tackle B Vibe in a three inch. I have some of the 1.5 or the one inch, the really small ones. I wanted to get a little bit bigger ones through the, the winter and spring. Sometimes the swim bait's the right thing, and, and uh, I, I, I know 
but some of the trout will go after these as well. Okay, now we get into, oh, not, not quite yet, not yet. Uh, so this is, this is the Jackson Buggy Spinner. So it's, it's another spinner that uh, I wanted to try. I don't think this one was as much, but it might have been, yeah, $7.79, so it wasn't cheap. Again, Jackson, it's a, it's a company that I have liked everything that I've tried from, and pretty much everything that I've tried from has caught fish. Uh, so when I saw this little spinner, something a little bit different, it had the black blade, it sort of reminded me of some, well, I mean, this is one of the Japanese companies. So it kind of reminded me of some of the Japanese spoons. Uh, and it's just got a little bit of pink, it's got the built-in swivel, it's got a single hook already. So I wanted to, I thought that would be a lot of fun. And then this, this is called a trout twig, it's by Daiwa. Some people swear by this, uh, I think this might have been on sale. Uh, but it was one of the things that was on my wish list, and it's one of the few colors they had available, so they're pretty much sold out. But basically, around here, so many people catch fish on a trout worm, and I thought, well, if I could use something like this, maybe I'd, you know, maybe it'd be a good way to, to sort of approximate that, but still be able to, to work it a little bit better and have a little bit of weight. Oh, here it is, 1.5 grams. So again, with a lot of the, a lot of the stuff that, that a lot of the, the rigs that I throw for trout, 1.5 grams is, is plenty heavy enough to, to be able to make it out there. So, uh, I, you know, thought it would be fun. Now this is uh, the Duo Realis, if you remember, if you haven't seen it, the AliExpress order. I, I got some, some clones of the Duo Realis Rosante. Uh, this is a suspending jerkbait. This is a really nice looking one. I've, I've always been partial to like these sort of pearlescent uh, colors. I just think they, they look very natural and in a lot of the, I don't know, they seem like they work fairly well if the water's a, a little stained, uh, but also in clear water, they, they this color just, I, I feel good about throwing it. And so the point is, I, I want to get, I wanted to get one of the, the, the real ones, and I wanted to be able to compare them side by side with a couple of the AliExpress knockoffs, if you want to call it that, of, of this. And so we'll, we'll see them side by side, and, um, but again, some of these brands, Jackson, Eurotackle, uh, Soranoia, Duo, I, I, I really like just about everything that I've tried from them. So even though sometimes it's a little pricey, I, I feel good about it. I just, I, I'm always a little cautious. So, you know, if I'm going to throw it somewhere where I think there's definitely snags, I'm probably not pulling out the big dog. And then the last thing is I, I got three more copies of the Eurotackle Z Spender. This lure, it, it's amazing. And actually right now, every other suspending jerkbait that I'm, I'm trying is I'm, I'm, I'm looking for anything that works as well as this. You know, there's part of me that says, why do I even bother at this point? Because this isn't that expensive. They're like seven or eight bucks, which, you know, isn't dirt cheap, but let me see what I paid for here. Yeah, $6.99, so they're $7. And some of the things that I'm trying are 14 and 15 and, and uh, where I say that, yeah, four, where'd it go? 1450. So, you know, maybe I should just go all in on, on, on the Eurotackle Z Spender. I do find myself buying more and more of the Eurotackle uh, offerings. Uh, and so I got a couple different colors that I think will do really well for trout, but I also was trying to get stuff that I think might do well for smallmouth and bass in general. Uh, because through the winter, a suspending jerkbait is a really good lure to be throwing. So, um, you know, a relatively small order, you know, to put it in perspective, this probably costs as much as, you know, my huge AliExpress order. So, you know, it's, uh, but this, this order, for the most part, is much more focused. You know, yeah, there are a couple, you know, cool things that I'm, I'm trying and saying, like, well, hey, I've, I've wanted to try these. But everything else is really just a version or extra colors of stuff that's been working well for me recently. I'll go out on a limb and say this is the last... <laughs> this will be the last tackle unboxing video. Uh, I do have one more shipment coming, but I'm probably not going to do an unboxing on it. I actually know there is new stuff in there too. So anyway, you know, two weeks left in the year when I'm recording this, maybe three, uh, almost three weeks. You know, December is one of my months to stock up on, on gear. So I feel like I could go through all of 2023 and not buy anything else. And if I run out of something, just force myself to use some of the other tackle that I have. 
but you know really where's where's the fun in that and i'm hoping to fish more next year than i did this year i i haven't counted up but i'm, I'm over 60 fishing trips in 2022 so I'd, I'd like to to get above that next year i did take it easy through the summer uh, and I think uh, in 2023, I will fish a good bit more in the summer than I did last year. With that, um, you know, I've got a couple couple different spinners to try. Jerk baits, soft plastics, trout stuff. I, you know, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm somewhat predictable. Really, my goal is to develop confidence in certain techniques and certain types of baits so that I can avoid some of those rough stretches that I, I get every once in a while. You know, this is just looking for different ways to... You know, if you can find something that's just a little bit different than maybe what they've seen, you know, maybe it'll strike a little, just a little bit more aggressively. Bait Finesse Empire, um, if, you, if you've never checked them out, I highly encourage you to do that. Uh, again, it's just a place that I, I like to shop every once in a while. Keep an eye out for a lot of this stuff. Uh, I, I'm hoping to be trying these out really soon. You know, all this stuff ought to be hitting some videos here in the next month or two. So, appreciate you watching, and until next time, tight lines.